Hi family, this is the luck mom here, the branch is my name. I'm an ex-housemaid of Saudi Arabia, but mostly I create awareness on what happens in the Middle East. Sometimes I do help those domestic workers who are stuck in the Middle East. If you are facing any challenge, you can just reach me out. We can try together with the luck mom family and see if we can help. So, uh, I'm just reading one question from one of my fans. And this is one way I interact with my fans because I don't go live most of the time. It's once in a while. So this is the only way I can interact with my fans. So Pacific Camera is asking, Nulize, when you go house to house, utaweza renew like one year junior office in a kulipa ama, ama help please. This is a good question. This is one of the good questions I've seen so far. And I want to just understand Pacifica. Is it that after you are done with the contract or you are finished one year in that house and you want to renew? That is what I want to understand first. So if you have finished one year in that house, Kama umemaliza, anauliza unaweza renew one year ju, junior office, like one year junior office. So sijui kama yeye amefanya kazi kwa mwaka kwa hiyo nyumba ama anataka kurenew tena ukiwa under the office huyu ni hawa ni wenye hawajamaliza contract maybe anauliza kama unajua contract ya house to house inaweza maisha hata 3 months 2 months depending na boss anakuhitaji kwa muda gani so maybe huyu mwanadada i'm assuming amemaliza one year kwa hiyo nyumba na anataka kurenew tena one year Hakuna ubaya ukirinyu because you are under the office one year. Because bado uko under the office. But the only mistake unaweza fanya kama mtu wa house to house ni kukubali kununuliwa na sponsor. Sijui kama kuna watu wananisikiza wa house to house, you can confirm this. Kama wewe ni wa house to house. Usiwe kubali ati unanunuliwa na tajiri for good Ati sasa tajiri amekuja, amenda amependa kazi yako. Ati sasa amekununua miaka miwili. Hapo kuna kuanga na challenge. Because wale watu wa, wa ofisi wana tafutiwa ikama na ofisi. So that means you will transfer the sponsorship. It will be transferred from the office to your new sponsor. Ambaye ni boss mwenye amekununua. Na sasa au watu mwenye wananuli wangu na boss kutoka kwa ofisi. Mwisho wana tesekanga sana wakiwa na, na shida. Kama umenuliwa na boss kutoka kwa ofisi, akakupeleka kwa nyumba yake. That means uku amini. Yani amasio mengelaiku uku penda ofisi yako ndi umano wakakubali kununuliwa permanent. Nasema permanent. Boss anaiza, ana, anaiza fanya boss miezi ine, miezi tano, anaiza kukuambi. Si ukubali ni kununue. Ana kusuiti toki ade mwisho wana kununua. So in case upatu na shida, hii ofisi ya ita kusaidia because you lost trust from them. Uliona wao awafai. So case okay, kama hii ina uwa hii ina solvua mostly na embassy. Ukienda kwa hii ofisi ya wata kusaidia because walikuwa na kueka vizuri. Ukaenda ukaongea na boss. Uka make your local arrangements. Aka kununua. So usiwa hii fanya mistake ya kukubali kununuliwa permanent. There's a difference between kurenew contract. Wewe ni wa house to house na kununuliwa permanent. Hizo ni bitumbili tofauti. Ukirenew ni sawa. Because you are still under the office. Because u tajiru wako atalipa ofisi tena. But usirinyu. Yani but usikubali. Bosa kakununua permanent. Watu wa house to house listen to me. Vizuri sara. Because kuna wasi anawawili saizi. Walinunuliwa na boss. Lakini sasa ofisi wanakata kushugulika. Wanadhani ati ofisi tawakatia ticket. Anambiwa ni bosu wako atakukatia ticket. Sio ofisi. Alafu sasa. Ujue kila kitu itabadilisho, mpaka ikama itabadilisho. So utakuwa kwa, ni kama, wewe, wewe na, auna tofauti na mtu mwenye aliwenda direct kwa boss. So ukikubali, kununuliwa kutoka kwa ofisi, umejimes. Nataka kuambia tu watu, kama, najua kuna mtu moja atasaidika na information. Usiwai kubali kununuliwa permanent kutoka kwa ofisi na wewe ulikuwa mtu wa house to house. Do, nasikianga house to house, mimi sijafanya house to house, watu wananiambianga, Na kama unanda unafanya kazi miezi tatu, unapata watu wawajai osha hata nyumba mwaka muzima. So unafanya hiyo kazi ya house to house, saa zingine unaweza mwangukia malipazuri, but it is better 
uwe una remain kwa ofisi watu wa house to house watakuambia because house to house ukipelekwa ukiwa na shida unarudishwa kama ujaridhika na hiyo place unarudishwa sio kama contract contract unajua kurudishwa inakuanga ngumu but ukiwa house to house uta, utaitiwa driver akurudishwa kwa ofisi wachukue mtu mwingine so kuna advantage kwa house to house but usiwahi kubali kununuliwa akili bosi wako anze kusema mm, like mom unaweza ongea na ofisi yako nikununue permanent na nimependa kazi yako uh -uh. usikubali because itakuletea shida anytime utakuwa kwa changamoto ofisi ya wata kushughulikia that one we have to tell you for free alafu ku renew kama umemaliza one year kwa hiyo hata kama four months na unataka ku renew there is no problem because you are still under the office because hiyo ofisi ndio itakumaliza kukukatia ticket wa kurudisha nyumbani though kuna ofisi zingine ya watu wa house to house wamekaa wamekaa bila ku, kuenda nyumbani wamemaliza miaka mbili bado wako six months on top walimaliza kupelekwa deportation kuna ofisi zingine pia they don't stick to their word so hii mambo ya ukirinyu kama wewe ni mtu wa house to house there is no harm so long as uko under the office but contract remember is two years remember the contract is two years because hata ukisema una renew na ofisi ya wako willing kukutafutia ikama italeta shida so because your contract was very clear for two years uliza wale watu wenye wame renew uh, after two years na wako kwa ofisi wakuambia what has happened because awawezi kukuambia ukweli wao wanataka pesa because watakuuza kwa boss tu wao wapate pesa lakini remember the contract ni 24 months it's not sio that six months ni 24 months kama uta renew within the, the, the agreed period of two years there is no harm i think i've answered the question pacifica kama ujaridhika you can still ask i'm here i will just answer i enjoy when i'm answering a uh, question to my fans thank you